Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be sharing with you a method for removing stripped out screws and uh, like when you're working on one of these little quadcopters if you come across a stripped out screw let's say you had over tightened it originally or when you're trying to unscrew it it's, it's stripped so this just spins and both of these spin which is kind of annoying because you can't try to rotate the whole motor around the single stripped out screw so in this scenario you know you could try to drill it out or you know maybe uh, try to grab it with some pliers but with these curved off tops it's really hard to do so this method is pretty simple what I'm gonna do is take a little allen key that's the right size dip it in some solder flux and set it inside you know one of the stripped out screws then I'm going to take my soldering iron, which is heated up, clean off the tip, and I'm going to take some of this solder and hit it to the screw in the Allen key. And I'll let it sit for a few seconds. I'll zoom in there. And what we're going to do is try to build up a kind of like a cone of solder. If you try to turn it right now, it still might break loose. So what we're gonna do is build up a cone along the Allen key. So it's got more molten lead material or whatever kind of sticking to the Allen key and sticking to the screw. Give it a few seconds so that that layer can kind of harden up a little. You don't want to do too much at once, otherwise, you know, you're just going to end up with a big old runny blob. So, that should be enough, should be enough to grip this screw. You're going to want to let it cool down for a few seconds, otherwise it's going to be too hot, of course. So, let's give it a second. Ooh, man, that's real hot. Whew. Yeah, still too hot. Going to cut to when it's cool enough to turn. All right, let's see if it's cooled down enough. It's still real toasty on the Allen key. Just kind of torque it a little bit, and there we have it. That screw is loose. And it's removed. Look at that. So in order to get this off, all we have to do, it's pretty simply, you know, find a safe place for that screw to drop. Maybe take a pair of pliers to hold the Allen key with and simply touch the iron to your little solder mess and boom screw just dropped in there you want to kind of clean off the allen key so we can use it again on this next screw and there you have it that's a way to do it i guess i'll show getting this other one off real quick too it's got a little bit of lead on it so it doesn't want to fit quite Let's see. There we go. So it's in the screw hole. I'm going to need to add a bit more, of course, solder to get it enough contact area with the head of the screw. Now, this might not, you know, at first strike you as the simplest way to do this. You might say, oh, I could just drill out the screw or whatever. But after spending about 20 minutes the other day dealing with this particular quadcopter as I was taking apart to scavenge parts from it, and uh, man, that was just so frustrating dealing with a stripped out screw and trying to grab it with some vice grip pliers and they wouldn't grab on properly, so real glad to have discovered this way maybe it, somebody else has already done it I don't know probably okay gonna fast forward to when that's cool enough to touch all right let's see there we have it second screw released there it is so that's one way to do it folks it may not be the the easiest or the simplest or whatever, but if it works, it works. And uh, just take that screw stuck to the little Allen key, clean up your little Allen wrench a little bit, and uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it's going to have some lead solder on there, so maybe dedicate one of these to this kind of a scenario, but it's one way to do it. Yep, happy building and happy flying, folks. Till next time.